If you like my videos, don't forget to follow me on social media to keep up to date with all the latest news regarding my channel and my content. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe below or at the end of the video. Perhaps my favourite actor of the modern era. Sam Rockwell is that guy you know you've seen in movies before, but whose work you're not overly familiar with. Despite his appearances in over 60 features and a smattering of TV series and shorts over the last three decades. Though you may recognise him from his small roles in a handful of big Hollywood movies such as Iron Man 2, Charlie's Angels, The Green Mile, Cowboys and Aliens, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Poltergeist and G-Force, okay you probably won't recognise him from that one. Rockwell's career mainly spans smaller independent movies that never seem to get much mainstream praise. As a result of that, Rockwell Rockwell has become an exceptionally talented performer who seems to go under the radar a vast majority of the time. Hot off his long deserved Academy Award and Golden Globe wins for his outstanding performance in three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, we're sure to see more of Rockwell in the near future. Until then though, to prepare yourself for the upcoming Rockwell renaissance, here is my top 5 definitive under the radar Sam Rockwell performances you simply must see. Number 5 Mr. Right when Francis, played by Rockwell, meets Martha, Anna Kendrick, the two quickly fall in love, unbeknownst to her that he is in fact a psychotic killer, a hitman who takes pride in knocking off other hitmen. As their love affair grows and Martha learns of his profession, she begins to find herself excited by the idea. Mr. Wright is one of the quirkiest yet most enjoyable rom-coms I think I've ever seen, with both leads delivering some of their most offbeat performances in this really bizarre Bonnie and Clyde story. But it's without a doubt that Rockwell completely steals the show, with every quip and every stylish move as he suavely glides and tap dances his way through many of the movie's uniquely choreographed action sequences. Here, Rockwell not only delivers his trademark offbeat quirk, but continues to prove how indelible his comic timing is and how dryly yet perfectly he can play black comedy. While Mr. Wright might not be the best rom-com ever made or even the best action comedy, it is the perfect showcase of Rockwell being well, Rockwell. You certainly don't know Rockwell until you've seen him shoot someone in the face while wearing a clown nose. That's classic Rockwell. Huh, that's a pretty funny Hawaiian shirt he's got on there. Number 4, Seven Psychopaths. In Seven Psychopaths, Rockwell plays Billy, a Korean dog napper who makes his money by stealing dogs and then returning them to their owners to claim the reward funds. When he and his partner in crime, Hans, played by Christopher Walken, steal the shit of a powerful gangster, their world begins spiralling out of control. Meanwhile, Billy's closest friend Marty, Colin Farrell, a writer with writer's block, attempts to finish his screenplay called Seven Psychopaths, whose story finds itself interspersed throughout the movie, while Marty finds himself drawn into the psychotic lives of Billy and Hans. Are you following me? This is quite possibly the most unconventional movie in Rockwell's entire catalogue. And while it received a wide release and made quite a bit of coin at the box office, it's gone down in movie history as nothing more than a celebrated cult favourite. In Seven Psychopaths, Rockwell kicks it up a notch, delivering quite possibly his craziest, most outrageous and, you guessed it, most psychopathic role. This black comedy allows Rockwell the artistic freedom to be as wacky and as hysterical as he can possibly be with an incredibly erratic and hilarious performance. Seven Psychopaths not only continues to prove the brilliance of Rockwell's comedic style and timing but also proves his expertise in physical performance comedy just as Mr. Wright does. Would you look at that, there's a, another funny Hawaiian shirt. Number 3, The Way Way Back. This is one of Rockwell's least unusual roles, but an absolutely terrific one nonetheless. In it, Rockwell plays Owen, the manager of a water park who befriends Duncan, a lost and lonely 14 year old boy. Throughout the movie, both characters bond and help each other find their own place in life. This indie dramedy offers Rockwell yet another chance to draw both his comedic and dramatic cards, and he plays them both with absolute perfection. Way Way Back features one of Rockwell's most touching and heartfelt performances, and one which showed that he was well on his way to that coveted Academy Award. His trademark wit and charisma certainly aren't lost in the role though. He still delivers many of the movie's biggest laughs, but to it he brings an extra layer of emotion and depth than he had with any of his previous roles. If we were to generally look at Rockwell as a character performer, this role would stand above the rest as the most real and most sincere. Aside from the bigger blockbusters he's found himself in over the years, Way Way Back is quite possibly the most accessible movie in Rockwell's repertoire. 
repertoire. One which speaks on so many levels to so many different audiences, including those who may not be interested in some of his more diverse movies. Hold up, does Rockwell wear a Hawaiian shirt in every damn movie? Number 2. Confessions of a Dangerous Mind Based on his highly questionable autobiography, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind sees Rockwell portraying game show legend Chuck Barris, producer of the dating game and presenter of The Gong Show, who claimed that he had also moonlit as a CIA operative and killer throughout his career. In his first major role, Rockwell does an impressive job of playing the two different sides of Barris, almost as if he were playing two separate characters altogether. On one hand, he's brightly comedic, on the other, he's darkly dramatic. It's a role which shows the tremendous range of Rockwell's acting ability. In a clear sign of his Oscar potential somewhere down the line, Rockwell shows the incredible ability of being able to hold his own and steal every scene he shares with heavyweight Hollywood players such as Drew Barrymore, Julia Roberts and George Clooney, who also directs in his first directorial effort. Rockwell's wit and charm are on full display in Dangerous Mind as he manages to deliver an incredibly eclectic, smooth and memorable performance, giving us a sneak peek at the eccentric Rockwell roles which would follow. It is without a doubt one of the best black comedies and most bizarre biopics you'll ever see, and no matter the number of big stars involved, there's no doubt that this is quite clearly the Sam Rockwell show. Well, I guess that proves it. Hawaiian shirt in every movie. Add that to the list of Rockwell trademarks. Before we get to our number one, let me hold you in suspense with some honourable mentions. The Assassination of Jesse James. This is very much Brad Pitt's movie, but what's so completely staggering about Rockwell's performance here is how he manages to outshine Pitt in just about every scene they share, much like he does in Confession. And again, another example of his decades-old Oscar potential. Everybody's fine. Likewise, this one is very much Robert De Niro's movie, which sees De Niro attempting to bring his estranged family back together for the Christmas holidays. While Rockwell doesn't appear in this one a great deal, he certainly holds his own against heavyweight De Niro and delivers a heartfelt and noteworthy performance. Definitely a movie not to miss during the holiday season. Choke Choke was based on a novel by Chuck Palahniuk, the guy who wrote Fight Club. While this movie never lived up to its high expectations following Fight Club, despite trying hard to emulate its style, Rockwell's performance as a sex addict is highly memorable, and a clear precursor to his future, more refined, offbeat, wacky roles. And while you're at it, you might as well watch Conviction and Matchstick Men too. Oh gee, I probably could have made a top 10 list out of this. Oh well, on to our number one, Moon. Some actors strive off their chemistry with another performer to be able to craft their own performance. With Moon, Rockwell proved that to deliver a spectacular performance, all he needs is himself. In Moon, Rockwell plays Sam Bell, an astronaut who's been isolated on a base on the moon for almost three years on a mission to mine alternative oil for use in renewable energy on Earth. Here, Bell's only companion is a robot named Gertie, and his only communication with the outside world are old video recordings of his wife. As he comes to the end of his three-year stint in space, things start to get a little bit weird when he discovers a body in a crashed lunar module. When he opens it up, he discovers that the body is him. Moon is without a doubt one of the most spectacular and most underrated movies of the last decade, and alongside Interstellar and The Martian, my favourite modern science fiction picture. This movie is deeply harrowing, tense and shocking, with twist after twist after twist and a completely unpredictable ending. While there are brief moments of fleeting comedy in this, Moon is easily Rockwell's most emotional and heartbreaking movie of all, working as the greatest showcase of his incredible dramatic proficiency. Rockwell carries the weight of the entire movie on his own shoulders, proving his immense talent. With absolutely no other actors to work off other than himself and a disembodied Kevin Spacey voice, Sam, it's been several hours since your last meal. Weird. Rockwell delivers a career best performance, one whose lack of Oscar decoration is absolutely criminal. Oh, and no, I know what you're gonna ask, there's no Hawaiian shirts here. Okay, well maybe there is. And with that we come to the end of my top 5 definitive under the radar Sam Rockwell performances you simply must see. If you're a first time viewer of my channel and you've liked this video you'd like to see more videos like this in the future then please give me some support and hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen. To absolutely everybody out there don't forget to hit that like button down below does a great deal in getting my videos out there. I hope I'll see you all again soon guys until then take care and hope you have a wonderful day.